Hello Gators, this is 6-3, Properties of Parallelograms, Day 2. I can use the properties of parallel lines, diagonals, and triangles to investigate parallelograms. Okay, at uh, end of day one, we learn uh, all these things about parallelograms. We learned that the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. We also learned that opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And of course, opposite sides are also parallel. Today, we're gonna to learn something about the diagonals. Let's take a look at the diagonals. What we wanna prove is that the diagonals bisect each other. All right, so let's uh, take a look at um, this, the diagonals right here. And I'm going to draw them right here with some um, uh, numbers here for the angles. Now, I know that I'm going to be working with this triangle right here and this triangle right here. I'd like to prove they're congruent. Now I know these lines are parallel and because they're parallel I know that this angle is congruent to this angle and I know again because of the parallel lines that this angle is congruent to this angle and we do have uh, opposite sides are congruent here. So now I know that triangle ABQ is congruent. Now A goes with C and uh, B goes with D and then the Q by and this is angle side angle. The side is included. And now I have BQ uh, congruent to DQ. BQ is now congruent to DQ. So that makes that diagonal cut in half. And I also know that AQ is congruent to QC. And these are, uh, that'll make this congruent to this. So that got cut in half. And this is all by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And so that's why those triangles are congruent. I don't think I used the same letters in the proof, but uh, that's how we do it with the letters that I have there. All right, so now we know that when you have a parallelogram, this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this, and this will, have, this will help us uh, find these answers. SU is 35, so this whole diagonal is 35, and if I only want um, to SK, then I'm gonna have to take one half of 35, because um, it's, it's being bisected. So this will be 17.5. Now RT, let's see, KT is, uh, from here to here is 19. So we know this other part is 19. So all the way across will be double that, and that'll be 38. All right, let's take a look at QC. QC is 8, so I know that this other side is 8. Uh, CS oh, is, uh, they tell us CS is 2X minus 4. And we know that 2X minus 4 has to also be 8. So 2X minus 4 is equal to 8. 2X is equal to 12. So X is equal to 6. All right, uh, SX is 13. This is a 13 and this is also a 13. And they say from beginning to end is x plus 30, uh, 17. And all the way from here to here, I know that distance is 26. So x is equal to uh, 9. OK, so let's take a look at what we have learned so far. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. In a parallelogram, you have two sets of opposite angles that are congruent. And in a, in a parallelogram, you have consecutive angles that are supplementary. We just learned that diagonals bisect each other, so they cut each other like this. And one diagonal will always make two congruent triangles. Okay, and this is what I had before, and I have just added this. I have added the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. And I've added this portion right here where I show the different parts of the diagonal are congruent. And this is the end of the screencast.